Hello everybody, I'm Justin here along with Wiretex, and today I just wanted to go over a little video and actually show you a little cool website uh, for the jailbroken community on YouTube. Jailbroken iPhone users, I should say. Um, so, just before I get into this video, I just want to make one quick statement or paragraph or whatever. But, jailbreaking your iPhone is not illegal. Or should I say, void? It doesn't void your warranty with Apple unless you actually mess up the phone. Now, say you jailbreak it or you go to update it while it's jailbroken, and you brick the phone. That's when Apple will be like, "Hey, I'm not replacing it." But if you jailbreak it and you take it into the Apple Store to get a repair done or something that has not been messed up because of the jailbreak, they have no problem. But just note. When you download all your applications from City and stuff, the first step you're supposed to do when you go in for a repair or genius appointment with your iPhone is back up your data with iTunes, which that doesn't back up your jailbroken data, and do a restore. That's one of the steps you're supposed to do with Apple Care on the phone. So if you do that, that most likely will clean out your problem. Therefore, you might not be walking in the Apple Store with a broken iPhone. So, one of the main reasons you would be walking in the Apple Store for a broken iPhone is because you probably messed it up in terms of jailbreaking it. But, other than downloading gaps and stuff like that, I don't see how you can mess up the iPhone. The iPhone is really secure in terms of stuff like that. So, I'm going to get to my video here, and here we go. So, now I have my iPhone. Now, as you can tell by the main topic of the video, customization with your iPhone. I don't like customizing my iPhone that much because again I want it to run at its full put or potential that it can. Um, so I don't really customize my iPhone. And the only thing I've done is stuff that I can bene benefit from, not stuff that can look cool and show off on my friends, show off with my friends. So on my iPhone here, the only thing that, that I've really done is install Backgrounder Pro Switcher. As you can see there, I'm going to close that, keep that there, close iPod, close Mail, and go back to Springboard. And that's about it. And some applications that allow me to share my internet connection from my iPhone to my Mac apps, or should I say folders. And that's about it. Nothing else that's been really jailbroken. And here are my jailbroken lock, too. Um, and here are all my jailbroken apps. That's about it. 3G unrestricted background, app backup, lockdown, and that's all I've installed. Nothing else. But when it comes to themes, I've always thought, why would I install someone else's design? At first, might be ugly, and second, if you get thinking about it, why wouldn't I just make my own? And I mean, like, it might not be what I want it to be. Say, I want to do something that is my own. Like, if I have a company, make my own thing. And as you can tell, if you look at my lock screen, that's my company's logo. Why can't we do that with the thing? I think it actually would be cool if you could do that. But buying one from City or downloading some in Winterboard, I don't think that would be as nice as you can if you just made your own thing. So now you can do that. I'm going to close Demo Guy now because there will be no need for it. Now you can do that with CodeThemed.com. I'll pull it up for you. So, now CodeThemed.com is only in beta right now. So you must have a beta invitation. And um, it doesn't do much in terms of actually creating your themes right now. It's just for demo purposes and to get feedback in terms of the site. So when you log in, you get code theme. Create, mix, and share. You can create the theme from scratch with your own graphics. You can mix it. Say you're not that good at graphics. Create your own graphics that aren't the best. And mix it with the ones that are pre-made that you can see right here. And then finally, you can share your created or mixed or both created slash mixed up themes together, which would be nice. So here's your navigation bar. And then you have welcome, your username, you can sign out and build a theme. That's basically the main thing of the site, navigation bar up there. 
So then when you go to build a site, this is the page that you get. Welcome to your theme builder. And I'll scoot over. Here's where you can work your or here's where you work your magic. And then I'm not a I'll be honest, I'm not the best graphic designer out there. I I'll, I'll rather get graphics and put stuff together. But when it comes to graphic design, that's not me. So I'll use a pre made theme. I can select right here one of the pre made icon themes pops up and that's not the theme it has to load but when you select the theme it loads your last theme that you clicked on that's the last one I loaded so now it's going to load as you can see the little loading bar the theme that I clicked on which is like the little store that I just clicked on it because I saw the store um, now I am using my iPhone internet connection so it doesn't take this slow users so if you're on like a Wi-Fi connection but there's plenty of information I can tell you while it's loading up. So, once you do click this, it basically asks you uh, would you like to apply the theme. You will click apply, it loads again real fast if you're on Wi Fi, and then connects. And I actually can switch to Wi Fi, which is the nice thing because I don't need demo guide anymore. So, I'll switch to Wi Fi here. So, if I refresh the page here, it should load a lot faster. Alright, so here we go. Welcome to your theme builder. Here's where you work your magic. And it's loading up here. So, looks like the theme that I had before disappeared. So I just select this theme. I can select it. Pops up here. And then it says apply. This theme 5 out of 9. Anything that's there will be overwritten. I click apply. And it loads the theme. Now it says slide to unlock this here's uh, theme, and this works just like an iPhone. This app is only for theme building, so you're not really playing with a simulator of iPhone. So I slide, and here's my theme. Now I can click on individual icons. It changes, I don't like that theme. Let's say I want my regular um, phone. I can just select that and drag it on it, and it replaces it. So that's pretty nice, and I keep my regular phone icon and have the same theme. Say I just want those icons, but really want my own background. I can upload the background or pick one and replace it. Let's apply the home screen here, and there you go. Now, that's a very ugly design in my opinion, but hey. That's basically code-themed. Now, like I said in the beginning, it is a beta. It's only in beta right now, and you must have an invitation to use it. Um, so, you can follow them on Twitter for more information. Twitter.com slash code themed. Feel free to contact me at Justin Harris at wiretext.info. So, that's basically it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at Justin Harris at wiretext again, or you can PM me or comment below. So, that's basically it about this. You can also change the doc. There's not really much. It's pretty straightforward in terms of how you use it. But, this seems like it's going to be an awesome site. And I can't wait till it comes out. You can save changes right now, but you really can't retrieve them until they put up the extra feature. And you can also download the theme when it's ready. That's coming soon. But saving changes works, but you really can't go back in until they put up the My Themes. And right here. I don't know if I went over the dashboard, my themes, messages, favorites, following, or my account. But that's basically your this is your dashboard where you do your main thing, where you get your announcements and stuff like that. So that's basically code themed. You can go to codetheme.com and get more information in terms of creating, mixing, and sharing your theme. Just click on request a beta invitation and select your device and tell them why you should be one. Or a beta tester, I should say. And if you don't really want to wait and just want to know when it comes out, just stay updated on Twitter and make sure you reserve your username. Because I would hate when it comes out and your username is gone. I wish Techno Buffalo, when it was in the making, you could reserve your username. I don't think that feature was there. If you could have did that, that would have just been awesome. But you can do that with CodeThemed.com. So, go check it out. PM me, email me, or uh, comment below if you have any questions. And make sure you subscribe if you like the content. Peace.